From usatoday.com, pole dancing and hand sanitizer, Wyoming strip club reopens with masks on, clothes off party. From Cheyenne, Wyoming, Cleo counts out crumpled dollars, straightening the bills as she stacks them neatly on her bare leg. $22, the 23-year-old exclaims. Not too bad. All around her, more than a dozen nearly naked women are dancing on the stage and swinging from a brass pole as music thumps and customers shower the dancers with money. It's like any other night at this rural strip club on the Colorado-Wyoming border with one notable exception. While the dancers are all wearing barely their outfits, every one of them is wearing a mask. Some are bandanas, some are surgical masks. One looks as if it was swiped from a construction site. They're a seemingly odd accessory for women wearing a mix of G-strings, bikinis, and lingerie. But this is the time of coronavirus, and following state rules, the women are wearing them as they feel out their first night back in business. For Cleo, that $22 is the first time she has earned in weeks. And she's ready to make more, even if it brings her far closer to customers than the state's six-foot social distancing guidelines. And she says, I feel like my makeup is sweating off under this thing. Oh, that's my song, Gotta Go. Leo, who didn't want her legal name used because of potential harassment, clambers up on the stage and begins spinning around the pole, her five-inch high shoes banging together as she bends backward to rest both her feet and head on the floor to a scattering of cheers and whoops. Typical scene at a strip club, of course, of, uh, except for the mask. Welcome to the Den, one of the first strip clubs in the country to reopen amid the coronavirus pandemic. Or, I, I need a, a typical scene of strip clubs, so I hear. So, so I hear from, from pictures and videos, and so I gather. Welcome to the Den, one of the first strip clubs in the country to reopen amid the coronavirus pandemic to celebrate its grand reopening the club through a masks on clothes off party Friday night. I'm assuming that was only applicable to the strippers and not the customers. Because Wyoming has had so few coronavirus cases, state health officials on Friday allowed most businesses to reopen, including sit down restaurants and bars which is how the den is licensed, likely due to its large size and small population. Wyoming had few cases. Officials say they've confirmed just 541, along with 175 listed as probable and only seven deaths. And that's if you even believe those surely grossly exaggerated numbers. Now, at a strip club, there's you know, pretty good awareness of, of hygiene separation, you know. Uh, if you're in, I, I would expect that strippers you know and sex workers in general like you know we covered with the interview today with clay montgomery in florida with uh, atomic tattoo please go check that out you know they they're better at hygiene distancing i mean that's that's is that a better term uh, social distancing weird physical distancing that's not it's hygienic distancing as is, is, i haven't heard that term yet is that is that a better term people like that hygienic dis but, but basic hygiene practices now it has to be distancing to, to match the, the cool word that all the kids are using. It's yeah. social distancing, because that's what government says is the right term for this. And with strippers, you know, of course, obviously you have your right to decide whatever the risk level you want is for yourself. And this is a, a job where if you're if you're doing it on stage, there's you're not even within six distance of people, six feet distance of people. I don't know if you if you if you if you lean your hips out, you know, and you put your G your thong in a dude's face to get some bills stuffed in there's oh my gosh you're both touching dollars okay well it's like it's like a retail exchange you know what are you wearing masks you got a sneeze guard you know who, who cares um I, I gotta hand it to them for this and and we brought you the story months ago when they shut down all the strip clubs in california that boober eats was the way around how, how do you get your fill of attention from scantily clad women well you can have them deliver your food since that was not something they could shut down so they changed their strip club into a food delivery service. And now in Wyoming, working their way around. By the way, this is where my father and uh, my stepmother and my sister live in Wyoming. And my, my sister works as, as a server and she's going back to work. And um, my, uh, my, my dad and, and my stepmom, even though they're you know in the elderly at risk brackets, they're, they're going out to restaurants where uh, servers are wearing uh, masks and gloves, but none of the customers and people are just trusting 
as always, that, uh, you know, for food servers are going to be looking out for their health. Same thing with strip clubs. So, you know, I, I'm excited. Maybe that's not the right word to see this story, to see that, that, that there's this defiance happening, that even though things are a little weird, that uh, strip clubs aren't cowering in, in the face of coronaphobia. And I've every time, uh, you know, I, I, I've said who, who's really suffering, it's the servers and, and bartenders and strippers. And of course, there's so many others in, in, in service industry jobs. But, you know, strippers, especially, boom, just w when they wait, when when the shutdown hit, they were totally out. And, you know, this is, uh, you know, people just doing what they got to do to get by and working away, working around government. What's really encouraging about this in the long run, you know, what not only are there strippers and Christians side by side leading the charge in civil disobedience in America today, but that there are so many other Americans going, okay, government's getting really dumb. I need to find a way around it. I need, I need a little work around here, around this dumb shit. I, and, and then when they stop doing this dumb shit, government's going to keep doing tons of other dumb shit. And Americans will just be better prepared with the workarounds. As the dense parking lot fills with pickups and SUVs, mostly the mostly male crowd inside grows. Travis says the crowd is a mix of regulars and unfamiliar faces. Oil and gas companies have large operations in the area, and many of the men look as if they've come in from the oil fields for the night. None of them are wearing masks, and they're clearly looking for a much smaller social distance than Americans have become accustomed to as dancers wrap their legs around them from the stage. Thomas, the union president, said she's worried that customers won't feel safe returning to clubs, although the den was about as busy as usual for a Friday night, Chavez says, munching on a slice of freshly delivered Domino's pepperoni pizza with her white bandana temporarily hanging around her neck. Dancer Brianu Grover says during a break that she's not worried about getting sick. At 24 years old, the self-described conspiracy theorist says she believes the virus poses little danger. Besides, she says she missed the customers and dancers to whom she has become close over the past two years. And she said with a laugh, that's why it's so great. People have to pay attention to you because you're naked. And now people have to pay extra attention because you're defiant. And hopefully they'll find more than just erotic titillation, but inspiration for their own civil disobedience as well from these strippers in defiance. Thank <laughs> you.